were wandering around and kind of like figuring things out if they're either opening up or open to basically what the last conversation that you guys have. I see here that you initiated, you were the one who made the first move to have the discussion where there are certain things that you want to establish. And the way I see this is like you're trying to establish your grounds, where your limit is and where um, where you expect them to be. Mm -hmm. I see here that you guys can be also in a long distance connection and it's more of like you're trying to understand them, how they communicate. And you're very patient here. I'm seeing here that you're really looking after the relationship. Like for you, it's like, I want to make it work as much as we can. Let's see things through. Okay. Your first card, Libra, is a two of wands. Now, the two of wands is known to be just waiting. That's why it's sitting, in, you know, it's standing on that castle and that wall. And that wall basically serves as the... Um, the limit that you have, like I don't go outside basically your co your comfort zone, like this is where you're comfortable and anything beyond this is a no. So you have to come towards me. Your expectation is like you come to me. I don't chase. Does it make sense? Okay. It, it just connects. Three of Wands, if you see it. On their side is a Three of Wands. You see them? Mm -hmm. So they're willing to cross. And I'm not coming after anyone here, you or them. I could. I don't care about anyone, meaning I'm, I'm on the middle here. Okay, I don't choose sides. They're saying here, it's like, well, I did what I can also, isn't it? I have contributed to the relationship. And in fact, I even gave more than you. This is what you're, you can be an angel. This is their, this is how they look at it. Okay. So we have different perception. How they perceive you is not, you know, like how you would like, um, how to say this, um, want to be, even though you're projecting, like I've contributed for them. It's just like, I gave more than you. So that can be triggering for you, Libra, to understand. Now, here, they claim that, of course, this is an opportunity. They have things that they're looking forward to with you, but it's also an opportunity card. Well, if you don't want how we're working things, they can have a different connection. Three goes to another one. It's uh, so far of ones. Okay. For you, let's communicate, let's talk, let's try to understand each other. Your energy is more of um, victory, right? The crown is there. This is the hand of God giving you the chance. You're giving them the chance because you want things to be clear. I'm not here to make drama. I'm here. We can just talk about the facts, what you can tell me. You know, I'm listening. But the Ace of Swords... It's up in the air, so decision-wise, you can be persuaded provided that they respond to you and they communicate with you, okay? So that's a good one. The olive branch symbolizes here that you do have the wisdom. The water underneath the Ace of, the Ace of Swords or the land, sorry, not the water, that re reflects the groundedness of how you're approaching them. Now, the cloud over here is coming out of confusion, okay? You're trying... Really, your best to clear. They're open to this Queen of Cups. This is interesting because the way that I'm seeing here for this person is more of like, um, cater to me. I'm open to what you want to say. So they can be very uh, flexible from what I'm seeing here. Um, you can be persuaded and so they can, and, and they can also. Now, when you get a Queen of Cups, they can use their emotions and their feelings and their intuition. They can be very, very emotional when they make decision. Okay? Now, the Queen of Cups over here 
um, this is showing that um, their sensitive side is like something that they know and they're aware. Now, I see them very comfortable with their city that, okay, sorry about that. I, I didn't know about it. Okay. Mm. They're seated here as a queen of cups, which means that they're in the yin, so passive. You will always have to initiate here. This is what I'm, and that's it. This is what you're saying. Um, there's good and not so good here because you're back in the same uh, spot where you guys have started. So if you thought that the communication will bring success, eight of swords, it feels like on your end, it's like, well, I thought that it was going to go well. It didn't. Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords here. Now it shows like, well, you know, you're scratching your head over here. It's like, well, that leave me with no choice. I can't do anything here. Now it doesn't lead to a paranoia yet, but this is now you getting worried because every time you communicate, every time you talk to them, it's going around in circles. We're not really getting here anywhere. You know, the Eight of Swords will go into the detail. So let's just say January, you had a discussion. February, you guys had a plan. March, there was something important for you. So it's all building up, right? Last week, they canceled. A prior month before, there was an issue between the two of you. You caught them lying because they say, you know, sort of this coming before this. Now, the lie can be like, you know, emotional, you know, like they didn't want to tell you how they feel. So you're looking at this Libra, like it's layers after layers after layers. And then because the Ace of Swords is trust and loyalty and honesty. So now you're questioning if this person is trustworthy. Um, they always get what they want. And this is the issue here with the Nine of Cups. The way I see this is, um, I don't understand. I silenced this already. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups, it is showing that uh, your person, you might, you might shut your person down, I feel. Is that if that's an omen? Because I never, like, this always follows me. It's like, it's not, you know, I don't want to hear it, right? So you're probably going to execute that. Um, they're in the, I feel like, I have to um, put a focus on you her, here first. I feel that you catered to them for a number of times and they got used to that. Because the Nine of Cups, this is now the energy of your person. They're so used to you doing things, you doing that, and they're happy, Nine of Cups. And I feel like for them, it's like you always, you know, you're, all, you're always on my side, you know, your person is saying that. You're always on my side. First week of June, I wear my PL. My business doubled the store, our e-commerce. It was like overnight. And I said, I'm going to share this secret. We started making it. And then people started to give me their feedback and how it has helped them. Now is your chance to manifest your dreams. Use this PL available at our website, eatreadlove.me. Two of Cups. It feels like someone here definitely in love with the two of cups i'm not wearing my love piao because i'm doing the double this is a double piao okay that there's one i'll tag in the corner for love and relationship um it's pink opal and cherry quartz real gold this one is for wealth this one is new tigers i obsidian real gold also we ship international just in case you guys are wondering so here with the two of cups i mean it's in the middle here of the reed and the way I see this coming from your end and their end, I feel like there can be future, but it's looking like where is it and how? This is basically um, what you're saying here with your person. It gets more interesting the way I see it. So I'm going to dive deeper. Link in the description box below for an extended. I will see you down there.